Hello, this is Dr. Eric Bricker, and thank you for watching A Healthcare Z. Today's topic is Medicaid giant Centene. Now, if we work in healthcare, we have to know who Centene is. And why is that important? Because almost no one knows who Centene is. So let's learn about them today. And it relates to Medicaid. Okay, so Medicaid is the state-administered government program, both on the FED, by the federal government and the states, providing health care for low-income and poor people. Now, it covers 72 million Americans. That is 20% of the population. The total Medicaid spend for the country is $600 billion a year. So we talk all the time about commercial insurance, and we talk all the time about Medicare. But number three out of the, like, over three trillion of healthcare spend in America is Medicaid. It's still a behemoth, okay? And Centene is the behemoth of the behemoth, okay? It is the largest Medicaid HMO in America. It also is involved in providing health care to military families through TRICARE. It is also the largest provider of Affordable Care Act or Obamacare coverage. They have 1.8 million members on the Affordable Care Act. Now, interestingly, it's not called cent you don't have Centene insurance on the under the Affordable Care Act. What you have is Ambetter. So they've rebranded it. And it's not even called Centene in a lot of the states. So for example, if you're on Medicaid in Texas, it's not called Centene. It's called Superior Health Plan. So that's why it's kind of hard to keep track of because in many situations, it's not even called Centene. Okay. It has, Centene has 74 million beneficiaries. That's one in 15 Americans. Now, it is number 42 on the Fortune 500. In other words, it's a Fortune 50 company. It's one of the largest companies, not only in America, but in the world, okay? It has $100 billion a year in revenue, and it has 47,000 employees. It's just, you get the point, it's enormous, okay? It is larger in terms of revenue than Disney, it's larger than Facebook, it's larger than UPS. So here are all these household name companies that are smaller than Centene. Okay, now, part of what made Centene so big is it recently made a very large acquisition when it bought its competitor, WellCare, which also did Medicaid HMOs, but then also did Medicare Advantage plans as well. And, uh, and they also did Medicare Part D prescription plans. And they bought WellCare for $17 billion, and everything finally came together under the Centene umbrella in just the beginning of this year, 2020. Now, how in the world did Centene get so big? Well, it grew by acquisition. It has made a total of 16 acquisitions and of those 16 acquisitions, six of those acquisitions were just in the last five years alone. So there were all these other Medicaid, managed care, Medicaid HMO plans, and Centene has been gobbling them up, which gets to the root of how, what has been driving Centene? What has been driving Centene's growth and success? Because companies are not nameless, faceless organizations. Companies are just groups of people. And there's probably no single person who is, no, who is more responsible for Centene than its CEO, Michael Nydorf. And why is he so significant? He's been the CEO since 1996. That's right, for 24 years he has been the CEO. He's in his 70s. I think he's in his late 70s, right? And if you watch video, I'll leave links in the, in the show notes. I don't think he's got plans to leave it anytime soon. He has been there forever. Now, what essentially Centene is by this massive growth through acquisition, so in the business world, in the private equity world, it's referred to as a roll-up strategy. So you can think of Centene as like the roll-up strategy for Medicaid. Now, if, if to truly understand the roll-up strategy, I have to give you another name, and that name is Wayne Huizenga. Again, most people have never heard of him before, but he's sort of the king of the roll-up strategy in America. Okay, what did he do? He founded Waste Management, the largest garbage collection company in America, because before Waste Management, there were all these little different mom-and-pop garbage collection uh, companies that had their sort of local municipality contract for collecting garbage, and he rolled all those up into Waste Management. And then he did it again. What else is, did he roll up? He rolled up a gazillion car dealerships into AutoNation. 
So, which is the largest car dealership in America. So not only did he create one large company, but then created a second large company. And then he wasn't done. He helped found Blockbuster Video, which is now out of business. So he founded a third very large uh, business as well. Oh, by the way, he like owns the Florida Marlins and he owned the Dolphins. He, re he passed away uh, several years ago. He owned, uh, uh, owned the Panthers too, I believe. Um, so the point is, is that the roll-up strategy has been effectively executed in other industries, such as the ones I named by Wayne Huizenga, and healthcare is not immune to that as well. There is a roll-up strategy for Medicaid, state Medicaid, and that is Centene. And really, Michael Neidorf is arguably one of the most powerful people in healthcare in all of America, who most of us have never heard of. And that's my point for today. Thank you for watching A Healthcare Z.